In six years, Andrew Forrest has transformed his company from a price taker into a price maker. Fortescue Metals Group has broken away from its bigger rivals and struck a pricing deal with China. The miner says it's just rewards for its robust relationship with China. That is reflected in this agreement. That is reflected very much in their ongoing support for FMG. For the next six months, FMG will sell iron ore to China at a slightly reduced price to the deal struck between Rio Tinto and Japanese steel mills earlier this year. Rio and BHP are yet to sign a benchmark price with Chinese steel mills. Relations between the parties have soured after Rio Tinto and BHP signed a production joint venture and Rio Tinto executive Stern Hu was detained and charged in China. FMG argues the pricing deal is in Australia's best interest. This is a fantastic deal for Australia. This makes Australia competitive. What we've got to understand is this isn't just Fortescue, it isn't just Rio or BHP, but Australia is more competitive. But analysts aren't so sure. They say it gives China too much power over price negotiations. That can't be good as far as the, you know, the iron ore industry is concerned, given China's determination to, um, to push prices down. The deal is conditional on FMG raising more than $6 billion to fund the expansion of its mine, cash which will also come from China. Both Rio Tinto and BHP have shrugged off the FMG deal, saying they're continuing negotiations with the Chinese, who have taken about 150 million tonnes from their mines over the past year. Eliza Blue, ABC News.